Hey, good morning, guys. We're joined by Dr. Rebecca Dubois from UC Santa Cruz. She is a uh, professor in biomolecular engineering, which is even hard for me to say. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Okay, so this, this really is an enormous coincidence of events coming together. We're going to get to more on that a little bit later uh, because you guys are getting money raised by the proceeds from this wine, which really is just amazing timing. But I want to talk about the work you guys are doing there in your lab. If you can, as simply as you can, for people like me, explain what it is you guys are doing there and how it can help in the fight against COVID-19. Yeah, so um, my lab's interested in um, understanding how uh, people respond to virus infections. Um, and so when someone gets coronavirus, their uh, bodies, their immune systems develop antibodies, and we can measure that in um, people's blood. Um, and what I'm interested in doing is testing levels of antibodies. Um, this is going to be important for surveillance um, to understand how many people in our community actually got coronavirus, um, but also understanding sort of long term, how long does that do those antibodies last? Um, and so. And were you working on this? I mean, obviously, you've been doing this profession for a while, but uh, were you working on this, I guess, similar type subject before the coronavirus pandemic? No, not necessarily, but I realized that the skills that we had in the lab to really more do more basic uh, host virus interactions, um, mm -hmm. those skills could be used for this purpose. So then what have the past two months been like for you? <laughs> Um, certainly a roller coaster of scrambling to get the supplies together to start some uh, projects in the lab. Um, a lot of regulatory paperwork to be able to handle blood, human blood samples in the lab and um, developing safety procedures for people in my lab to work safely next to each other. So uh, none of this is free, obviously. All of this work takes money, and you guys, your lab in particular, is getting um, uh, funding in the form of proceeds from a wine that's aptly called going viral. Explain how important that is for you guys. This is just really a wonderful blessing because, um, yeah, science research takes money and getting funding through traditional routes can really take a long time and that can slow down research progress. So to be able to get money uh, right away to push this research forward is really um, wonderful. Well, Rebecca, thank you so much. And this, this is where the, the story takes a really Interesting turn in coincidence because the maker of that wine happens to be your, your father, correct? Yes. All right, so now we're going to bring in Lori because she is with Rebecca's dad to talk about how do you have a wine all of a sudden named going viral right at this perfect time? The timing on this, Lori, is amazing. It is amazing, John. Yes, it was so great to just hear from Becca. Uh, I've heard so much about her through her dad, Michael of Michael David Winery. Here is the wine that we're talking about going viral. It's a Merlot. And you talked about that timeline, John, and it is interesting because this wine actually came about long before the coronavirus. Michael, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about how that all came about. Um, my daughter and I have a you know, close relationship and uh... She developed a structure of this virus, and I just thought it was so cool looking. And I said, "Why don't we make a wine with your picture of your virus structure on the label?" And uh, and that's what we did. And we chose Merlot because we really didn't have a Merlot here at Michael David Winery. So uh, it was one of those uh, grapes that uh, Lodi is not known for, but it makes a beautiful wine. It's from uh, my grandmother's uh, vineyard that she grew up on, and. Uh, it uh, seemed to be the appropriate wine to use. So that was a year ago when you guys decided to do this. Of course, making good wine takes time. Yeah. It happened to be ready now when we're going through this pandemic. And that's when things kind of shifted. And you guys decided to use the proceeds from this wine to help your daughter with her current research. Right. She named the wine Going Viral. And it, we and it didn't have anything to do with coronavirus at the time. And uh, But now it's just by chance it's appropriate time to help support a cause here, help my daughter get her research done that I think is, will be very important in the long run for uh, the, uh, kind of helping the whole situation. And uh, we say we have to just donate all the proceeds to it. So it's only 750 cases, but uh, people are buying it and uh, loving it. And uh, hopefully it'll sell out soon. 
Yes, you'll be funded. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal, right? And if you've never been out here to Michael David Winery, there is a cafe inside, of course, a tasting room. They've set up this area out front for curbside pickup, uh, online orders, things like that. So there are some grocery items and other goods that are made here locally. And, of course, the wine. And people can uh, order online ahead of time, Michael, or they can just drive up and ask for wine that way, too. Yeah, we do ship a lot of wine out, out of here because it's easier right now to ship than have people come out of their house because they're supposed, to, you know, people are supposed to stay at home as much as they can. So this is just an opportunity to ship, or if they want to come by, stay in their car, and we put the wine right into the car for them. Okay, and real quick, Michael, the wine again—it's right there. There's the bottle. How much is it? Uh, it's being sold for twenty-eight dollars a bottle, and then there's some discounts on them if you buy, you know, larger amounts. So. Uh, it's for a good cause, and it's a great wine, so that's it's correct price. That's right. Felisa, did you hear that? You buy more, yeah. you save money, and all the proceeds go to a good cause. Oh, oh, I'm paying attention to Do all of this. Do you need any other reasons? <laughs> yeah, you need no other reasons. Proceeds go to a great cause. Buy more, save more. I like mean, right up your alley, my friend. Right, and this weekend, okay, again, it's Michael Mother's David Day, so Winery. I have, like, even bigger there you reason go. why. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Even more reason, yes. Such a cool collaboration, you guys, Absolutely. between Michael and his daughter. Um, it's really neat to see this come together. So, again, there's a limited number of bottles. Uh, so if you're interested, jump online and place your order. I'll send it back to you. All right, Laurie, thank awesome you. Stuff. Thank